hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel journey with vijay kumar srivastava today we are going to study the topic applied insect control so let's proceed principles of insect pest control the economic losses caused to the crops due to pest attack may vary from 0 to 100% therefore sometimes it becomes essential to check them insect control methods includes everything which checks the population of insects or compels them to lead laborious life to spread or kill them few things are very essential for effective control of any particular insects and we should be having knowledge like first one pest identification and thorough knowledge of insect life cycle second one is insect pest status which can be come to know by monitoring and assessing pest numbers and damage level third one is distribution of insects in particular geography for which the guidelines can be taken when management action is needed fourth is periodicity of insects preventing pest problems effectively fifth one is host complex on the basis of which we can take a combination of biological cultural physical or mechanical or chemical management tools and sixth one is behavior by which we can assess the effect of pest management so all these are having the component of integrated pest management outlines of insect pest control broadly the insect control methods can be divided into two categories first one is natural control which refers control of insect pest by means of climatological topographical nutritional and biotic factors second one is applied control where the pest control materials are selected and applied in a manner that minimizes risk of human health beneficial and non target organisms and to the environment applied insect control methods applied controls is the combination of various methods about which we will discuss here like first one is physical and mechanical control which includes physical control methods and mechanical control methods second is cultural control which is again categorized in two types first one is regular farm practices and second is direct cultural control methods third one is biological control fourth is chemical control fifth is legal or regulatory control methods so we will discuss in details about each method first one method is physical and mechanical control now we will go through a physical control method which is the combination of various treatments like first one is sun heat treatment to drive out humidity the stored grains are exposed to sunlight under sun heat treatment method second is superheating the insects may not survive long if exposed to temperature range from 140 to 1 degree fahrenheit the pests of coffee clothing cotton balls logs and stored grains can be killed by 3 hours exposure to temperature from 125 to 130 degree fahrenheit incubus can also be used for this purpose third one is low temperature in killing the insects the low temperatures are not so effective as high temperatures the insects become inactive at temperature range between 4 to 60 degree fahrenheit but they are not killed at temperature temperatures of minus 20 to minus 30 degree fahrenheit the pests hibernate frequently refrigerator and cold storage are used for this purpose and this is a somewhat costly method next one is light treatment it has been observed that the insects are attracted to light by investigations it is found that the insects are much strongly attracted to the blue portion of spectrum after that red and then yellow portions of spectrum fifth one is electricity different devices are used to produce sufficient heat within the bodies of insects to kill them sixth is use of atomic energy the nuclear physics also helps in controlling the insects by using the radio isotopes now mechanical control methods in which different types of mechanical devices have been used successfully for catching and killing the insect pest 
which can be described by different methods like first one is collection where the eggs larva pupa are collected and killed second is shaking or beating of branches first a tub containing kerosenized oil is kept under the infected plant after that the branches are shaken or beaten with the help of a stick the insects fallen into the tube will be killed because of kerosenized water third is netting where the flying insects could be collected with the help of a net and then it can be killed fourth one is a spike thrust method in this method very very useful against borers like sugarcane borer mango stem borer or other borers the insects could be killed by inserting a needle or wire into the hole and fifth method is mechanical exclusion sixth one is trapping about mechanical and trapping we will discuss in details now mechanical exclusion methods it is the combination of various methods like first one is tree bending sticky bends could be used around the trunk to prevent insects climbing to the tree tops second is fencing high fencing around the fields prevents larva to reach from one field to another field third is trenching some insects like army worms nymphs of grasshoppers and locusts can be effectively checked by digging trenches around the field the marching insects fall into the trenches and after that they can be easily killed fourth one is bagging the loose muslin cloths or paper covers are used on the fruits or spikes or ears which prevents the female from laying the eggs on the fruits next method of mechanical control is trapping different type of traps are used to catch the insects like first one is mechanical traps these are tub like structures mechanical traps could be attached in front of tractor to collect the jumping hoppers and there are some traps which can be put on the plants or trees to catch the flies after that light traps different type of light traps can be devised in the fields we can put a petromax in the tub containing kerosenized water with a simple type of light trap light traps are very very useful against nocturnal insects third one is adhesive traps or sticky traps the wooden pieces or hardboard pieces containing sticky material could be hanged in different places in the field and this method is very very useful for aphids and jacets and sucking pests fourth one is bait traps which is a made of wire gauge in which ripened fruits could be put and a smell of fruit attracts the insects to enter into the trap and it is the one of the effective method of controlling second method of applied insect control is cultural control the method of control includes all farm operations performed to reduce the pest population or prevent their damage cultural control can be described under two subheadings first one is regular farm practices and second direct cultural control now here we will study about regular farm practices which consist of first one crop rotation where the same crop should not be sown successively in the same field and it helps in reducing pest population second is mixed cropping when few crops are sown mixed the pest of one crop finds hindrance in reaching its host third is tilling after harvesting the field should be plowed to expose the development stage of insects these stages may be killed by direct sunlight or by natural enemies or by physical injuries fourth one is hygienic measures after harvesting the leaves twigs fruits weeds and other crop residue should be removed and burned fifth one is growing resistant varieties here we have to grow such plant varieties which can tolerate insect attack or the insect do not prefer such varieties or such crops then sixth one is proper harvesting we have to harvest the crop in the proper manner we have 
to remove all the leaves or stem points or other plant parts from the field second method of cultural control is direct cultural control which consists of different important methods like first one is using healthy seeds healthy and insect free seeds should be preferred and sown to avoid the insect problems later second is alternate host where we have to remove alternate host plants from the field and surroundings third one is tray crops the minor crops which have not much more economic importance but these crops attract insects of main crop it should should be grown near major crop the tray crop may be treated with insecticide to kill the insects accumulated on these like example if okra is grown in cotton fields it will attract the pests fourth is irrigation of fields flooding also helps in reducing the population of termites and different stages of other insects fifth one is draining the insects which breed in water can be killed by draining out the water from fields next one is soil manuring and fertilization proper manuring and fertilization minimizes the pest damage this method gives good results against sugar cane top borer and other insects next one is alteration of sowing time by changing the sowing time the pest population can be reduced because we are breaking the cycle of its growth and development next one is pruning and thinning pruning of old and damaged parts of plants also minimizes the pest attack we have to remove such plant plant parts from the field after pruning next one is weeding and hoeing with the help of weeding and hoeing the attack of borer in paddy maize can be reduced along with other crops it is one of the important method third method of applied insect control is biological control biological control is the use of natural enemies like predators parasites pathogens and competitors to control pests and their damage biological control may be defined as the introduction and encouragement of the natural enemies of insect pest and noxious plants by men in such a manner that these parasites and predators keep the increasing population of the harmful insects and plants under check and protects the crop there are various methods of biological control like using predaceous and parasitic insects second is using vertebrate predators and third one is utilization of microorganisms or genetic modified organisms as example of using microorganisms the bt cotton has been developed bt cotton is a genetically modified organism or genetically modified pest resistant plant cotton variety which produces an insecticides or toxic substances to combat boll worms this is a genetically engineered product of natural cotton so here we are using the bacteria which is controlling the insect pest heliotis armigera there are various biological control methods which are used like first one is using predaceous and parasitic insects where the natural enemies are collected and released to pest infested fields natural enemies are reared and liberated in the fields for the respective control of insects and this method is based on principle of encouraging protecting and conserving parasites and predators which are existing in nature second is use of vertebrate predators where the fishes are used amphibians as frogs and toads are playing a role in controlling insects reptiles are there where lizards and snakes are controlling insects and different birds species third method is utilization of microorganisms like bacteria fungi virus and protozoa are used in development of bt cotton or genetically modified organism bacteria vesselis thuringiensis is used for controlling different insect pests like in cotton controlling american boll worm so these are the various methods of biological control fourth method of applied insect control is legal or regulatory control which is defined as the control of insects by checking human activities 
to prevent the introduction of foreign pest government of india made an act destructive insect pest act of india 1914 the act was enforced in 1925 under this states in the countries are empowered to enact such laws as are necessary to prevent the spread of serious pest within their area and also to enforce the application of control measures against harmful pest and diseases through notifications fifth method is chemical control method which is defined as control methods involving the destruction of harmful insect pest based on the chemical actions of the substances and these chemicals are classified on the basis of mode of entry into the body second is mode of action and mode of chemical nature as mode of entry into the body is concerned there are stomach poisons contact poisons and fumigants as a mode of action there are physical protoplasmic respiratory and nerve poisons as a chemical nature basis there are botanical systemic fumigants antifeedants attractants repellents and chemostrelents chemicals so these there are various chemicals which are used according to the suitability of the chemical so this presentation was all about applied insect control hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given you my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you